Hi, welcome to week four of The God Who Dances. Last week we looked at the movement in our dance with the Trinity of going from denial to introspection. You know, so often we live with a measure of denial in our lives. Maybe not complete denial, but perhaps where we're not fully willing to look at our sin. We're not completely willing to embrace our pain. And so we were challenged last week to engage in disciplines of confession and lament so that the love into which we are invited, the love of Father, Son, and Spirit isn't just theory. It's not just a doctrine that we say we believe, but it is something that we are experiencing in the real conditions of our lives. And that happens as we open up through introspection. And now in this coming week, we're going to look at the movement of going from a place of numbness to intention, or a place where we sort of live on the surface and try to numb ourselves to the hard realities of life to a place where we are living with intention and desire because the Trinity lives with desire. They desire one another and they delight in one another and they invite us to embrace that same desire and delight. And so part of what we'll be doing is looking at the nature of sin. You know, so often we define sin in behavioral terms, but we're going to look at sin from a relational standpoint. In Ephesians 4, the Apostle Paul says that truth is in Jesus. And what we'll see is that truth is relational. That to embrace all that we were designed and created to be, we have to start understanding truth and sin in terms of relationship and not just behaviors or beliefs. As important as those are at times. And so we're going to be looking at desire and what does it mean to have our desire for God stirred and deepened and strengthened. Thomas Kelly in his book, A Testament to Devotion, said this. He said, do you want to live in such an amazing divine presence that life is transformed and transfigured and transmuted into peace and power and glory and miracle?" If you do, then you can. But if you say you haven't the time to go down into the recreating silences, I can only say to you, you don't really want to. You don't yet love God above all else in the world, with all your heart and soul and mind and strength. For we find time for what we really want to do. And so we're going to be challenged this week to look at the issue of desire. And what does it mean to let go of lesser desires so that we can fully embrace our one true desire? In Psalm 73, verse 25, the psalmist says, Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is nothing I desire on the earth besides you. We're going to look at how to live into that and how to have that kind of desire stirred. So let me pray for us as we get into week four the God who dances. Well, Father, what a joy to think of you with the Son and with the Spirit in this dance of delight, of desire, as you're preferring one another and delighting in one another and desiring, and you invite us to live with that same kind of desire. And so, Father, this week, may we understand a bit more about the nature of sin and what it means to do life without you so that we might be invigorated and inspired to walk into deepening intimacy with you. Give us strength, Father, this week and courage to let go of numbness that we might move toward intention and desire. And I pray all this. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Amen.